be aware. Not not mental awareness, not not awareness where there's an attachment. So yeah, you're mentally aware of something, emotionally sensing something, resonating from the outside looking in. You've got to see from within all of this, within within that that all of this is happening in, which is pure awareness. You see, that comes first. So. When you can know that without inference, when that is simply knowing, uncreated, pure, which it is, if you investigate, you'll see as seeing. And it will feel so unaccustomed to the way that your old self has become accustomed. Does that make sense? But upon investigation, this is what's happening in meditation. This is what meditation is about. The trouble is people create meditations. They, they create, people are obsessed with creation. So they, become meditators with the object to meditate and do strange sorts of things. But meditation is the most natural thing in the world. It's not created. There's no one meditating. It's, it's an investigation into um, what is first, what is the zero point, what is, what is actually seeing. And, and, and upon investigation, you see it's just consciousness, you see. And it has no, there's no mental inference there's no one saying, oh, I've got it. I'll go into my knowing. I'm, I'm in my knowing. Oh, I need to transcend this with, you know, it's deeper than you, you see. So one has to investigate, one has to meditate, not build meditation, but um, succumb to meditation. Does that make sense? Succumb. Meditation is a succumbing. It's a surrendering, but it's not a surrendering that you build in your mind, you build in your emotions where you become the dying swan to life's afflictions, you know, crying out for the beloved, you know. That's not what surrender is, that's not what succumbing is. It's a very natural process, it's more natural than your imagining or your fantasy. I'm not saying this, you're doing this, but I'm just giving you an example of how we can remain in what we build, continuing to build this pathway to enlightenment, when what I am in fact saying is, it's far more simple than that. So simple, you can trip over it. So simple, you can miss the corner step. Um, so coming back to your question, I'll, I'll just come to your question in a minute, Donna, thank you. Um, so coming back to your question, if one can investigate and succumb to what is first, of course, in the beginning, you'll feel unaccustomed because what he's seeing is uncreated. It's perfect. It's perfect, uncreated. It doesn't, it's not a form, you see. It's not a thought form. It doesn't need a thought form. It doesn't need an emotional form. It doesn't need any form. Um, it's just pure intelligence. This, this is what meditation is about, succumbing to this very fact of what is first, you see? And then from that perspective, if you can call it a perspective, uh, one sees. One sees, not I see, but the one sees. We, we enter into zero point contacts. And it's here then that we can experience. Okay, now this is where you'll feel so unaccustomed because you've always believed that you experience this. You're trying to get a reality or seeking something. So 
the old form that, that the mind is still in relation to the nervous system that that gives the signal to your mental and emotional attention that possesses the body sensation so this is what also this is what is happening so in this process if you can succumb to just the witness to, to what is observing you will unaccustomedly um be okay already every everything's perfect everything's perfect okay it is only the ego or the attachment to the mind and the, the emotion that says i don't like this i need to sort this out okay so upon investigation you come to see that this pure ground of being is is already okay and from the pure ground of being when you investigate it doesn't matter if you're dysfunctional, it doesn't matter if, 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 if everything is out of line or self-possessive. You've already, you've already come into the action that can undo it all. Okay, it's just that you're unaccustomed, you know. You're not accustomed to how that works, but you you become accustomed, you know, through um, by staying in what you first are, you see. And what will happen is you'll start to give all experience, doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter if it's delusional, dysfunctional, um, practical, brilliant, you know, um, it'll all start, it'll, it'll all start coming to a much deeper uncreated level of consciousness being the experience of the form that arises out of it this this is meditation that leads into sadhana okay the the the, the integration phase the sadhana okay which in the 12 steps is our step six and seven six and seven is sadhana uh, step four is is, is is uh what the word i always used to forget this word discrimination that's it discriminate thank you i'm surprised it took you so long <laughs> thanks donna discriminate yeah discrimination and it all from the second phase, after learning what the problem is, self-will over bodily, you know, directing bodily thing, we come to see that in the, in the in that second stage is, is awareness. You see how it moves. So the twelve steps are wonderful in in developing an awareness in an in a custom way, you know, um, overthrowing the old custom of self-possession. So. When awareness opens up, it's, it's like reality opens up, really. It's like the portal opens up, the ground of being uh, is there for everything that appears to land on, because it's all coming in, it's all coming in. And as a knowing in relation to its innermost, the absolute ground of being is coming in, you see. Uh, and it's through discrimination that you simply come you, you, you come to see what is what is attachment and, and what is the form basically the mind in all its form all its thought your bodily sensation all of it is okay all of it will correct naturally but you have to discriminate between the tension that steals the experience, the tension that steals the, the old accustomed way of mentally and emotionally possessing the body and, and um, takes you into personal experience, taking you away from consciousness being the experience. Now, consciousness being the experience is always okay. Okay. Always, always okay. 